drop of the rock explosion coming at you. And I kid you not, and I speak with seriousness when I say if you were just two miles away from said explosion, you would only just hear it. No, not even jokes. And if you could see sound as purple going out from the origin and happen to be orbiting on the ISS, that very same explosion would look pretty much like this. Pretty tiny, pretty much a speck. One hour's passed and now it's here. Startlingly slow sound. It's recently been beaten by a man in a bullet of a car. And if you clap, the places on Earth that not clap can no longer escape the rotation of the planet are pretty much here, which is just about everywhere. But even that is uncomparably disproportionate to the speed of light and how slow it is. Okay. Earth, moon, the fastest speed that anything can go from Earth to the moon is this. 1.3 seconds. That is astoundingly slow. That's not even... <laughs> when you look at the sun and you see it in the sky, the light coming off the, the side of it on the outer edge is two seconds older than the light coming from the center because of how massive our sun is. If you shone a light from Earth to Pluto, like a laser beam, you could effectively watch Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6 in sequence with half an hour to spare before that light ever got to Pluto. What? <laughs> therefore, <laughs> not therefore, just by happenstance, not, <laughs> not their in coincidence with said facts. <laughs> if, um, space travel happens to become relevant in our lifetimes and fuel becomes infinitely cheaper not infinitely um pseudo infinitely uh, cheaper you could take your solo little spaceship and fly it maybe uh, 20 30 star systems away before you inevitably uh, died that is not very far galactically speaking at least it is so minute this place moves just a bit too slowly and this upsets me this is the thing that kind of gets on my nerves amazing absolutely amazing is just beyond the perception of how it all falls if you look in the sky at what seems to be painted on still clouds for just a smidgen longer than you normally do just like twice as long you'll see that they change these uh, things move slowly but you can see their difference. If you get a cut on your finger, the next morning it'll be fixed. You didn't do anything and it's fixed. The next morning, every two minutes, 120 seconds, the sky moves what looks to be the width of a pencil at arm's length. Wh what? Baffling interest is moments beyond how long most people spend looking for it. Actual galaxies and nebulas in the sky just need a bit more light than our eyes can let in. Like, you... <laughs> We're all walking slowly and getting even slower updates on how long our hair is and how tall our cousins have become and how warm our little wet rock is. We are living on the cusp of awesome. Just instances away from having our tiny little lives rocked, maybe even by rocks that you just can't quite see far enough to look at. And light moves too slow, living on the razor's edge of awesome. God, it. It's too close! It's too slow!